What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today I wanted to do a channel update. Uh, I was planning to do the channel update within the next week or so, but a little bit of issues with the Sorceress and making videos for it, so I decided that it would be a good time to do the video tonight and give myself a day to figure out what I want to do with the Sorceress and stuff like that. So, I, you can obviously tell the background gameplay is not anything related to BDO or anything like that. It is Call of Duty. It's a game I got on uh, last Saturday that I was happy with, so I decided to have it be the background for this. It's about the appropriate length of making a channel update, so that's what I did. But let's get into this. So first off, we have the Sorceress and the Fairy stuff that I was doing. The Fairy stuff is a literal nightmare. Um, find getting. I'm at the last step, I'm pretty sure. But I can't complete it. It's gotten to like a ridiculous state that I cannot beat it. I'm going to try to figure it out tonight. Well, I have it figured out, but I'm going to try to get it done tonight. I, I set the odds at like 10% chance I actually can get it done. You'll know tomorrow because you'll get a video if I get it. If I do it, you'll get a different video if I don't. So it's about as simple as that. And so, yeah, that was supposed to be today's video. It didn't happen, so you get this channel update. And then the Sorceress, I just don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like I'm well enough equipped for Camasylvia. I'm barely killing the gargoyles at the very beginning. Those are probably supposed to be the easiest enemies in Camasylvia. So I will do one more episode, which you'll get that probably uh, tomorrow or on Saturday. And we'll see how ridiculous it becomes to try to kill stuff. And then I'm just going to try to progress to 59 and 60 in the base game, upgrade my gear, and then we can reshoot and try to do Camasylvia in a week or two. Probably two weeks because the PS4 release comes out, so I don't know how much I'll be playing Xbox. But yeah, we'll do that. We'll we'll shoot. We'll we'll do some videos of farming and world bosses and just some different fun stuff, I guess. And we'll try to progress the AP up because 181 AP, 181 82 awakened AP and. 250 DP, just I don't think it's going to cut it. It's just not going to get it done in Camasylvia. Um, pretty much what people told me, 220, 230, 240 AP, 260, 270, 280 DP is what you want to really optimize Camasylvia. I got like all sorts of different gamuts of people telling me different stuff about Camasylvia, but after seeing Camasylvia and how little damage I did to the gargoyles, I'm going to assume that, uh, yeah, I'm going to need like 210 minimum to do a lot of Camasylvia. So that's where we are. So I'm hoping in a little while we'll be able to uh, actually fully explore Camasylvia and have some fun. I am going to try it and see, but uh, I mean, if I can continue to progress, cool. If I can't, then rip. We will uh, come back to that uh, another time. Next uh, is the Archer. So the Archer is going to get three to five more episodes. We're going to get that bad boy to level 56, and then I'm going to throw it at Kazarka or at Karanda, and that'll be the end of the Archer, probably. Um, any series on the Archer, pretty much. It'll be just a level 56 world boss kind of farmer. Which, you know, we'll have some fun with it and then we'll move on. That's what I tend to do with the main characters until one is going to beat out Sorceress. And I'm not entirely sure one is going to. Um, there's still a chance for Valk. I really want to play Valk. So even if Valk doesn't beat out Sorceress, it could still potentially be like a second. Could be like a, an alt that I actually get on and play. But we'll have to see. Moving on, we have the PS4, uh, and that PS4 Ranger will be the first one. It'll be structured similar to the Sorceress, just probably done better now that I'm editing more and taking more time with different stuff. So, yeah, the the Ranger will will be structured a lot like the Sorceress. Uh, it'll probably get play light lightly. Um, I'll, I'll obviously get it to 56 easily, and then it'll probably get lightly grinded and lightly played uh, from time to time. Uh, I'm really excited to play the Ranger. Um, I should get the name that I like, so it should end up being the main. I don't know. Ma name has a lot to do with how much I'm going to like my character. If I have, like, numbers or some stupid-looking name, I, it, does, it doesn't make me want to play the character as much. But if I get, like, a nice, clean name, which I think I'm going to get... 
on PlayStation because I should be awake right when the game drops. Um, I'm, I'm gonna want to play the character more. So it's gonna probably be, if I have to do it, I'll probably dedicate like 60 to 70 to 75% of my time on my Sorceress on Xbox and then 25% to the Ranger on PlayStation. Um, I'll probably try to get my Ranger to 58 or 59 would probably be what I try to get it to and then I'll probably pretty much call the leveling and I'll just level when I do different stuff on there I won't be like grind leveling on there and so I I want to get it to high AP and DP so that I can do stuff on that as stuff launches but it's kind of hard to juggle two different characters since I can't share money between them obviously so I have to actually grind money on this ranger so we'll see it, it'll be interesting We'll get into that. when it, We'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Next is the second series I'll be doing for PS4, which is a leveling guide. That'll drop every other day once the release of PlayStation until we get to 56. I'm potentially going to take that all the way to 59, but I might actually use my, Sorcer or my Ranger for 57, 58, and 59. I'm not entirely sure. I'll probably do the farming with the Wizard or, Wizard or Witch. Um, because uh, I think that'll be easier, but we'll have different videos going over different level up locations and stuff like that, and I'll show different grind routes and all of that different stuff in that in that series. Pretty simple, nothing too big of a deal there. Just a, just a level guide. Next is Bless Unleashed, and we're gonna give this game a full try. It's supposed to come out. Uh, well, if they come out when they say they're coming out, which is summer 2019. We only have a few more weeks before summer 2019 is all over, so they don't have a whole heck of a lot of time to release this game, so I expect it to be coming very soon, um, and I'm going to give it a good fair shot. I know people haven't loved it, and I know people are against um, Bless uh, because of Bless Online, but I'm going to give this game a fair, a fair go, um, at least 10 episodes, probably every other day for a month or so we'll do episodes is my goal. And if I like the game, I'll continue it for some time. I don't think it's going to beat out BDO uh, f to be on my channel full time, but that does not mean that it can't find a home for a video every other week or once a week or something like that on the channel. Uh, and so... I don't expect it to, to defeat Black Desert and become the main of the channel, but uh, definitely going to make content for it and have some fun, uh, like I'll do with most new releases for console MMOs. Moving on next, we have good old Final Fantasy XIV. This will probably get picked back up in October or November. I plan to do a speedy for you guys not speedy for myself but speedy for you guys playthrough of all of the game till the end game and then hopefully do some raiding uh, i really love final fantasy 14 despite dropping it um from the channel and playing i haven't played it since i dropped it from the channel um and so i like that it's different from bdo bdo obviously is an action combat mmo and final fantasy is a tab target and so i really do like final fantasy for that aspect and so i think i'm going to i think it has a good mix on the channel it's something different we can have the action combat rpgs as the main and then we can have final fantasy raids and stuff like that with the tab target as kind of backups for the channel so that's what i'm leaning towards for final fantasy 14 uh, i plan to bring that back sooner rather than later and i hope you guys will enjoy that content um, and let me know if there's anything specifically for any of these games that you want to see in particular um, or anything you don't want to see for them, and I'll do my best to keep that stuff to a minimum or get more of it. Next is the big release that I'm looking the most forward to, and that is Fantasy Star Online 2. That will drop in spring of 2020. My best guess is late February or early to mid-March, somewhere in that period of time. And so I'm going to hit that game hard. It looks like a game that I could really like and really love, but obviously with anything... Um, I haven't looked up too much of it yet, and I haven't looked at a lot of the gameplay that's already out there, obviously, since it's just coming to the North, it's coming to the U.S., uh, I guess to North America, so that would include Canada, Canada and the United States, so it should be interesting to see exactly what, um, how, what that game has player-wise, with it being just U.S. and Canada, there's not a whole lot of European hype behind it, because it's not announced for that yet 
So we'll see exactly uh, what they do with that game. And then with it being caught up um, to the normal version at, at launch, I'm wondering um, if they can keep the hype behind it. Because one of the good things BDO has done that, I mean, it's not great because it's lacking content, but or it's missing content. But they're able to push out new content regularly to keep the interest and the hype in behind BDO um, until people, you know, obviously get to max ranks and have insane uh, tet boss gear. And so while people are progressing towards that, they also have stuff to progress story-wise with Camasylvia and all of that different stuff. So, moving on from Fantasy Star Online 2 are the other MMO to RPGs that I might show one time, a couple of times, whatnot. And that's Elder Scrolls Online, Terra, Skyforge, all these different console MMOs that I'm going to try. And I, I have played Elder Scrolls. There's videos on the channel. I don't like Elder Scrolls more than BDO or Final Fantasy, so it's about impossible for it to get any time on the channel. And uh, same with Terra. I played Terra a long time ago, and I didn't love it. So, yeah, those things might get, like, one video appearances on the channel. Other games that we have, potentially, are Destiny 2 free-to-play, which is going to become more of an MMO-type style. Uh, Borderlands 3 and Code Vein. Uh, I potentially may upload some videos from those games. I'm not entirely sure yet. If you'd like to see any of those, let me know, and I can do my best to make some videos on them. Uh, next is sh the stream. I start to I, uh, I plan to start streaming sometime in September, late September, early October probably will be when it occurs. Maybe early September. Uh, I have to decide some things like where I'm gonna stream. I'm leaning towards Mixer right now, but I do have a Twitch stream all set up and ready to go. Um, and so I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. I have to figure have to figure that out. Uh, but I'm leaning towards Mixer, but Twitch, it's like a lean of like 55-45 between Mixer and Twitch. Probably won't stream on YouTube, but I guess that's an option too. So probably go like 50% Mixer, 40% Twitch, 10% YouTube, something like that as odds of where I would stream. Um, and so I'll probably just end up streaming different BDO gameplay and different MMORPG stuff. So if that interests you. Um, I will be streaming soon. I have been getting questions about that. Uh, also, another game that I'm interested that I'm going to give a fair try is World of Warcraft. I've never played World of Warcraft before. I've been watching some streamers play World of Warcraft, and I want to at least see what it has to offer. I probably won't stick with it, but I can buy a month month uh, subscription and, and play it for fun, because why the heck not? And uh, probably put a couple of videos out on the channel over World of Warcraft. Uh, and then uh, finally, um, I wanted to talk about, I'll have a little bit of a series on Conqueror Online. I think I'm just going to do like a three or four episode thing or five episode nostalgia playthrough, but that probably won't come till December because we have so much content coming out for all these games that I that I play um, in the next few months that uh, probably won't get to Conqueror Online until December. I might start it up now and then try to because i know it has auto farming at this point which is kind of weird but then i can auto farm and do all that stuff and try to get the character to a reasonable level uh, to do a video on so we'll see about that um and so we have a little bit i'll talk about a little bit beyond even what i talked about in this video is that i plan to keep bdo on the channel for i mean way into the foreseeable future even if that's just one sorceress video a month uh, I don't expect B, not a month, a week, one sorcerer's video a week. I don't expect BDO to go anywhere from my channel, um, even if it dies down and, you know, we don't, we have a lack of content. I'll try to find at least one something to make a video over for my sorceress and for my ranger every week. Uh, even if I start playing Final Fantasy more and whatnot, I'm not going to drop BDO. Don't worry about that. Uh, I, I plan to keep playing this for a long time to come. As long as the community on Xbox doesn't straight die and go into a into dormant and the game gets shut down or anything like that, I will be playing BDO for the foreseeable future for a long time. So I wanted to let you guys know that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Gameplay is up for the Call of Duty, so I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you guys to let me know any comments or anything like that that you have and i will catch you all in my next video
Peace.